Now you got me thinking. So what happens? So in that instance, uh, let's not be being, being morbid. Like, so what if you had passed? I mean, and your spouse needed to do something and needed to access your accounts or needed to. What 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 are the options for someone when they don't? There's no estate plan. What happens then? When good question, Sanjay. When there's no estate plan and there's a surviving spouse, typically it depends how title is written in the deed. If it's a joint tenancy, the surviving spouse uh, on that deed will typically take a hundred percent. Um, but oftentimes it's not listed as joint tenancy. It, it may be as community property or, or it might be tenants in common. Uh, and at that point, we'd have to go to probate. We'd have to ask a judge to appoint surviving spouse to manage the affairs of the deceased husband who maybe had children from another marriage. Um, so hopefully the, the deed lists them as joint tenants. But if they simultaneously passed, then an, a family member would have to go to court and ask and ask the judge to appoint them to be able to have a legal authority to sell that house, access bank accounts, right? And liquidate everything into an estate for, for the probate to, to oversee. Probate and what about, uh, what about uh, if a child passes away, if an adult child passes away, how does that work? Um, you mean parents have an estate plan and adult child passes? Well, they'd have to, you know, obviously later on, uh, make sure that the estate plan is updated so that that child is removed and whatever proceeds were initially left for that child, they just wanna make sure that it would go to the surviving children.